personal that uh, Tennessee stood there. Yeah, we're not that out in a day, you know, like, I mean, RTA shows you, like, it's great that Ian sort of lets bands in play live. I mean, the more Irish bands that get in there and, and do sessions, you know, the more Better. they can be heard on yeah. radio programs like yourself and Dave and stuff, you know, so I'm all for it, you know. What are we going to have next in the Wayne Music Show? Well, you know, uh, I met a lot of Liffey supporters all, all during the week saying, are you going to play a lot of the album? So I figure I should play, without giving away all the album, about three more tracks from the Lizzie album. So get your cassettes on, boys, because uh, here's three tracks. It's going to start off with uh, Genocide, The Killing of the Buffalo, which is my favourite track. And you have the lyrics this time. Uh, yeah, the lyrics are going to be on the album. On the I, I learned that from the solo album that you should put the lyrics on the inner sleeve. And um, then it's going to go into the slowest track on the album, which is Did Know, which is a love song for the missus. Uh, sorry about that, lads, I have to do them. And then uh, the, a track called Hey You, You Got It Made, which is basically about leaving Dublin for the big smoke to make it, you know. You wrote another beautiful song called uh, Dublin, in fact, which I played in the show the other night as well. It was a nice song, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, there'll be three in a row. There'll be a slight gap. Which uh, means, really, that yeah. we're going to go off for a bevy, you know? <laughs> yeah. But uh, there'll be a, a couple of seconds between the tracks, so don't turn off the radio. Nothing's happened. We're still here, so yeah, enjoy yourself. Well, enjoy. All right. <laughs> three from Thin Lizzy in a row. Yeah. So what do you think? It's really good. You got it right. Every track. Yeah. No, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's a few more, but... The single is good too. The single comes out soon, so hope everybody gets off on that one. Uh, can I put out a few requests? Because there's a few people I've got to say. Go right ahead. Some requests for, well, first of all, there's Teddy Woods, who I've spent the day with, getting it lubricated. There's my mate, Robbie Brennan, who's been powdering me nose. There's uh, Frank Murray, who's back yet again. There's Donald, the bass player from Teddy Woods' band. There's Fran O'Kenny, who's out there with his, the love of his life. There's Gus. There's Anne Murray. There's Ian. I don't know your name. What's your name? That's Alan, of course, yeah. Oh, Alan, the engineer there. And myself. I'd like to play a request for myself for a change, you know. <laughs> and... Uh, who else? Oh yeah, there was uh, Gus, uh, Tony Boland's delectable young daughter. We couldn't we couldn't find uh, Breaking Glass, believe it or not. RTE haven't got the album yet, even though the picture is on in town. Mind you, I didn't give them much notice. So, seems she wouldn't tell me who, what singer she liked. I knew it wasn't Sting she liked. I knew it wasn't uh, Gary Newman she liked. So I figured she must like Johnny Linden. So, this is the Papa Licky Major. <laughs> we have a record lined up, right? Yeah, public image there, boy, yeah. Public image. And uh, there was a few people I left out there, like last night. Here I am, name dropping again. But who was I with last night? Only the Irish team. So I felt no sympathy at all for Holland. They lost. And they lost badly because Ireland were brilliant last night. Jerry Daly's goal was brilliant. Liam Brady chipped that ball. And in went Lawrence with the head. Bullets. Coming back from 1-0 to 2-0. It shows you no wonder we're number one in the... You know, the, we're going to win. You know, we're a good team now, Ireland. So we're playing attacking football again. So... For Holland, I'd like to play Ultravox Sleepwalk. <laughs> uh, Midge, who helped us out on the Irish tour there with Sleepwalk, it's a great, great album, you know, uh, Ultravox. Midge is doing a great job there. And uh, uh, so from here on in, I'm just going to play uh, just sounds that I like you know, whichever here. Uh, 
we found the Breaking Glass album, so we'll be playing a track off a little later on. That later on for you, yeah. of course. Uh, <coughs> what we're going to play now is the special, the specials thing, you know, Night Club, you know, which is where uh, Teddy Woods is spending all his time. But he wishes to send out a message to uh, Marion. He'll be sending a flower around, and he's really sorry, and he won't go nightclub anymore. I just want to say we've got 25 minutes of the show left, and you're listening to RT Radio 2. This is Ken Stewart with Ken and Company. The company tonight is Phil Liner, the Thin Lizzy. He's looking well. I he's thought back it was in town. Ken Club again. No, it's not Ken's Club again. It's a long but time since we did that. why are you on RT too? Listen, if there's anybody listening that directs shows on Ken on this RT2. Put Ken Stewart back on the radio here. He plays decent sounds. Well, I'm coming back on on the first week in October with uh, the Ken Stewart collection. I'm going to play The Farmer. I'm going to play your your very first record. Oh, no. Hold on. Get Ken Club off the... (laughs) Get Ken Stewart off the radio immediately. I'll only play it once, Phil. (laughs) Okay, the specialist nightclub. Uh, That's all right. That's the sound. This is what we want. Anyway... That was the specials from Coventry, pity about the football team. <laughs> anyway, I figure, what are we going to play now? Well, you see, we got a copy of uh, Breaking Glass, didn't we? Oh, Ian okay. Got a copy yeah. of this. Okay, well, this is a sort of romantic uh, flow ballad, I think. 